The streets of Qingzhuang are neater and tidier thanks to two decades of service by a local grandmother. The 80-year-old Ye Shenzi collects recyclable items and donates the money she earns to the students of Xinzhuang Elementary School. Having been very short of money in the past and unable to let her own son enjoy treats like school trips, Ye is now doing all she can to give other children a brighter start in life. In 30 degrees Celsius heat, Ye Shenzi scours the streets and alleys of Xinzhuang looking for recyclable items. For the past 20 years, Ye has been on a mission to collect recyclables to exchange for money to donate to Xinzhuang Elementary School. This year, she amassed 1 million NT dollars and donated it all to the school, while last year she spent her earnings of 1.3 million NT dollars on a special bus for rehabilitation patients. <laughs> This year, I got all this money to give to the children. I'm really happy about it. They're like grandchildren to me. My own grandchildren have all grown up and no longer need to be looked after. They don't need me to take care of them anymore. So these kids are like my grandchildren. I'll be their crossing guard. I'll look after them. As well as collecting recyclables to raise money, Ye Shenzi also serves as a volunteer crossing guard. The new Taipei City Education Department even gave her an award for her services to the community. After making a full recovery from a serious illness a decade ago, she made a commitment to charitable work. Her vow was partly motivated by regrets from her younger days when she lived in very straitened circumstances. <laughs> When my son wanted to go on school trips, I couldn't let him go. When he wanted to go out and have fun, I couldn't let him do that either. He was a very good boy. He never whined about how I never let him go on those trips. He was a good boy. Ye decided to take the initiative to turn the frowns of the past into smiles of the future. At 80 years strong, Ye continues to brave the heat and accept the fatigue of her work to carry out her mission of helping those in need.